Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on placenta eruption, also known as eruptio placenta. It is defined as a premature separation of a normally located placenta prior to the third stage of labor, which is delivery of the placenta. And the bleeding in placenta eruption is from both the mother and fetus. There are three types of placenta eruption, which are consumed type, where the blood remains in the uterus as a retral placental clot and there is no vaginal bleeding seen. Second type is reviewed type where there is per vagina bleeding noted and complained by the patient. And the third type is mixed where there is bleeding per vagina and there is also evidence of retral placental clot seen on ultrasound. These are the risk factors for the, both the mother and the fetus. And this increases the risk of placental eruption. For mother, the risk factors include defective trophoblastic invasion, like in cases of preeclampsia or pregnancy-induced hypertension, direct abdominal trauma due to trauma of fall or external cephalic version to turn a bridge baby, sudden decompression of the uterus after delivery of first twin or after the release of polyhydramnios or rupture of membrane. Other maternal risk factors include grand multipara, previous history of placenta eruption, smoking, alcohol or cocaine abuse, and also anticoagulant therapy. Whereas the fetal risk factors include multiple pregnancy and polyhydramnios. The clinical features are pervaginal bleeding, which is often painful, dark red in color and no clots seen. And it actually has more bleeding compared to placenta previa, which is also another cause for antipartum hemorrhage. In this placenta eruption, there will be severe and constant abdominal pain. And there might be evidence of hypovolemia, like tachypnea, tachycardia, and sweating. On physical examination, the abdomen will be wooden hard on palpation, and the uterus is tender and tense, may be hypertonic with contraction, and on palpation of the abdomen, the fetal parts are difficult to be felt due to the tense abdomen, and fetal heartbeat may not be detected. For investigations, we can do full blood count to assess the hemoglobin levels, the hematocrit, platelet, fibrinogen and also D-dimer test. Coagulation profile, PT and APTT might be high. Renal profile and group cross match can be done as well. An important investigation is the transabdominal ultrasound to locate the placenta, rule out placenta previa, and also look for retral placenta clot which is seen in placenta eruption, especially in consumed type. So the management of placenta eruption, we assess the maternal status by checking the vital signs, evaluate the amount of blood loss, and checking the coagulation profile. Energesia for the mother due to the pain, and also assess the fetal status by double-checking the gestational age, the viability, whether it is still alive or not, and also check the fetal line and presentation. If the patient is in shock, we resuscitate the patient, call for help and the red alert team, insert two large ball IV cannula, transfuse, fresh blood or blood components according to the condition and correct the coagulopathy if there is any by giving the DIV de disseminated intravascular coagulation regime give oxygen and also CBD for input-output monitoring and inform the pediatrician to stand by in, ca in case of emergency delivery This is the delivery plan for eruptual placenta So it depends whether the cervix is favorable for delivery If it is favorable or there is already intrauterine death, the baby is not viable anymore, or the baby is alive with reactive CTG, we can opt for vagina delivery after artificial rupture of membrane and augmentation of labor. If the cervix is not favorable, viable fetus, or there is fetal distress, we proceed immediately to caesarean section. And if at first we wanted to do vagina delivery, but then, as it progresses, there is fetal distress, slow progress of labor or persistent bleeding, which is large amount, we should opt for caesarean section, change to caesarean section. These are the complications of placenta eruption. For mother, complications include covalent uterus, hypovolemic shock due to excessive bleeding, acute renal failure, disseminated intravascular coagulation, fetal maternal hemorrhage, and also postpartum hemorrhage. Whereas the complications for the baby are intrauterine growth restriction, preterm delivery, birth asphyxia, and might even cause perinatal death. 
this is all for this video thank you